Hi everybody, Teacher Rob here. Today I want to read The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. Thanks for watching everybody. See you next time! Ah! Ah! Hi everybody, Teacher Rob here. Today I want to read the Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carl. One warm day, from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer. So, he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good day, crunched a worm munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Hi, bubbled a spittle bug slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. 
but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. How are you? hummed a bumblebee flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Good evening, whirred a dragonfly gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night. And the cricket enjoyed the stillness. As the luna moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She, too, was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time. And this time, he chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever ever heard. There are 4,000 different kinds of crickets. Some live underground, others above. Some live in shrubs or trees, and some even live in water. Both male and female crickets can hear, but only the male can make a sound. By rubbing his wings together, he chirps. Some people say, that it sounds like a song. I hope you enjoyed this story. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Teacher Rob here. Today, let's read From Head to Toe. Written and illustrated by Eric Carl. Stick around after the video for a quiz. I am a penguin, and I turn my head. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a giraffe, and I bend my neck. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a buffalo and I raise my shoulders. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a monkey and I wave my arms. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a seal and I clap my hands. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a gorilla, and I thump my chest. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a cat, and I arch my back. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a crocodile, and I wriggle my hips. Can you do it? I can do it! I am a camel, and I bend my knees. Can you do it? I can do it! I am a donkey, and I kick my legs. Can you do it? I can do it! I am an elephant, and I stomp my foot. Can 
You do it. I can do it. I am I, and I wiggle my toe. Can you do it? I can do it. I can do it. It's quiz time. Try to think of what the missing word is. Number one. I am a penguin, and I turn my. Head. Can you do it? Number two. I am a giraffe, and I bend my. Neck. Can you do it? Number three. I am a buffalo. And I raise my shoulders. Can you do it? Number four. I am a monkey, and I wave my <laughs> arms. Can you do it? Number five. I am a seal, and I clap my hands. Can you do it? Number six. I am a gorilla, and I thump my chest. Can you do it? Number seven. I am a cat, and I arch my back. Can you do it? Number eight. I am a crocodile. And I wriggle my hips. Can you do it? Number nine. I am a camel, and I bend my knees. Can you do it? Number ten. I am a donkey, and I kick my <coughs> legs. Can you do it? <coughs> Number eleven. I am an elephant, and I stomp my. Foot. Can you do it? Number twelve. I am I, and I wiggle my toe. Can you do it? I can do it. I can do it. What about you, everybody? Can you do it? Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.